Hey guys, I'm going to go through uh, really quickly how I rooted and installed a custom ROM. Actually, I tried to install a custom ROM on my Galaxy Note 3. So this is really just going to be how to root um, your Galaxy Note 3. Then you can install a custom ROM if you want to keep on going. But um, yeah, let's just quick run through this. I'm not actually going to do this again because I spent already like a day and a half um, doing this. Uh, so long story short, a year ago, I tried to root and install a custom ROM on my Galaxy Note 3, and then I ran into some problems. And after about like probably 10 hours of on and off going back to this, I eventually just gave up. So then just about uh, two days ago, I started to try again and I succeeded. But it took a while and it was frustrating. So I decided I am going to share what I did learn with you guys. So this will be a quick little tutorial how to root your Galaxy Note 3. And then if you want to install a custom ROM, uh, do that. And then I will also tell you about the struggles that I had along the way. So then you can avoid the same ones that I ran into. And you can discover your own little <laughs> things that mess you up. All right. Uh, First step, Flash 5.0 with Odin. So um, I use a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 SM. Oh, it's a Verizon version. It is the SM-N900V. That is um, what I use. So always look into the exact model number. I don't know when that matters and when that doesn't matter, but when, whatever you're going to do, just check to see if it works with exactly your model. All right, so first step, Flash 5.0, Android 5.0 with Odin. So you go to sammobile.com and you look up uh, your exact model number, just type that in, and then it often takes like two hours um, if you use the slow non-paid version. And I recommend not paying, just just set it up to run overnight or something to download. It's the stock firmware that comes with your phone. Um, but it even has versions that don't exactly push to your phone. So like 5.0, it did not actually push to my phone that version. Um, but it's stock, so it's just going to work. And you can look up on YouTube exactly how to flash with Odin because there's so many tutorials out there on that. Um, but you just take Odin and then you put it in the, you click the AP button. If you've ever done this kind of thing before, you know what I'm talking about. If, if you've never done it before, watch a complete tutorial on exactly how to flash. Um, but go to sammobile.com to actually download the firmware that will work with your phone. Um, and uh, that should be good enough for that. You'll figure out how to do that. Um, and follow the tutorials. It will tell you exactly how to flash with Odin. All right, I'm repeating myself. Moving on to step two. It's time to root and use Arabic tool. This is a cool thing that I did not really know about. Um, I have right here a little link to a YouTube video. Uh, so I will have that link in the description um, and that will show you exactly how to root with the Arabic tool. Uh, I'm also going to go through some of the steps of what I did of uh, the actual rooting process. Before you do anything, go to settings in your phone, about phone, tap the build number a lot. Um, and then it will say like, you've unlocked developer, developer mode. Um, then hit the back button, go to developer options, which is under settings, developer options, and then click allow USB debugging. Now plug the phone into the computer um, and then it should pop up on your phone, allow this computer. And that will allow the computer to uh, actually communicate with your phone and then you run Arabic tool. So you uh, actually run the program. It will ask for um, ad admin privileges and you just say yes. Uh, and then uh, click the read phone button on the Ar actual Arabic tool thing and then click root and that just works. So the rooting process is so easy. Um, now, you might be wondering, why do you need to flash the original firmware if you're just going to root with Arabic tool? Because I believe, tell me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments below, I believe that you can only use Arabic tool if you have 5.0 on your phone. 
If not, then this is all you need to do to root your phone. Just step two. Um, and even if you need to do step one and step two, then that's totally fine. Oh, by the way, make sure that you copy everything off your phone because you are going to, if you do this flashing Odin thing um, and flash 5.0 on your uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 3, um, make sure you know, you're going to lose everything. Once you flash, you're going to lose everything. It's going to be completely, completely stock uh, with no trace of anything of your own stuff on your phone. So save everything. Everyone has their own way of doing that. Um, so just copy stuff the way that you like to copy stuff onto your computer or whatever. All right, so the next step after your root is you want to install the super user app. So you can actually just download that right from the Play Store if you want to, or you can uh, download it onto your computer and then drag it over. And if you drag it over onto your phone and download it like to your computer, if you want to do it that way, make sure you allow unknown sources. System, security, allow unknown sources. Drag super user onto your phone or download it from the Play Store. Might as well copy over Flashify if you actually want to unlock the bootloader, which is really cool if you want to install custom ROMs. You really need to unlock the bootloader. Um, there are other ways to do this. You can just install an app, but I had trouble with that. So if you look at other tutorials on YouTube or whatever of how to install custom ROMs, um, it might tell you to, instead of unlocking the bootloader, use this other app. I forget what it's called. But I found this to be a pretty cool way to do it, and then you actually have a completely unlocked bootloader. Uh, the SM-N900V is actually a phone that you can't unlock the bootloader easily. It's a locked bootloader. Um, but I'll tell you how to do that. So you can download from the Play Store Flashify, or you can download it to your computer and then copy it over, do the same thing, allow unknown sources, and then you can install it that way. Anyway, back to the Super User app. Make sure you restart because I had trouble um, with it actually working when my phone was still plugged in and I didn't restart. So restart, unplug the phone from the computer, and then install the Super User app. And that's it. Um, you're completely rooted and you have, you've got Super User privileges once you do that. Step number three, unlocking the bootloader. Install the Flashify app and this will also test Super User. It will test to make sure that you're actually rooted and you've got Super User privileges. Um, if the Flashify app works. Install that, open it up, check it out, and then I will have this link down there too, how to unlock SMN900V, the bootloader. So there's a YouTube video for that. Um, now, rather than completely just following that YouTube video, which I'll have a link to in the description, I followed this tutorial, but this YouTube video helped me understand what the heck this thing says. So when you go to this page and uh, check out this tutorial, you might have no idea what it's actually telling you to do because he's not very thorough. I think he has the attitude, the guy who wrote this has the attitude like, if you don't know, then don't do it. <laughs> because uh, if you don't already know how to do it, you shouldn't be messing around with this level of phone um, programming. Uh, but the guy in this video, although he doesn't talk, he just uh, points around at stuff, really, help, really, really helped me understand what to do but he's doing a very, very, very slightly different method than in here. So you can basically do what I'm gonna tell you here. Um, install terminal emulator from the Android Play Store. Uh, install ES File Explorer file manager from the Play Store. Open ES File Explorer and enable root. Uh, so right on the side menu, enable root explorer and show hidden files. Those things are helpful. Um, then, uh, this is something that I will uh, have. I'm not going to actually give you the text files because then you'd have to download it, but I will give you the code. And you can definitely just get the code from this link. Um, so what I did was I copied, there's two pieces of code that you need. And I just copied those into text files and dragged them over to my phone, which you'll see here. Copy over the first text file and unlock bootloader. Um, and second, unlock bootloader text files. Copy over both of them over to your phone and they can be opened with the ES File Explorer. Put the unlock n3 file um, into, well, actually, I'm gonna break this down under here, but data, local, temp, directory of phone. Uh, don't worry if that's confusing. Um, definitely read this and even watch some of this uh, if you're getting confused. 
um, and then you can come, come back to this video if you're getting confused with this because I don't want you to get confused. I want you to know exactly what you're doing. Um, drag the file onto your phone, uh, the unlock N3 file, copy and paste it into, uh, so go to home from the sidebar, the second one down, not the first home. There's two homes, confusing. Um, and into the original file, file directory, copy, unlock N3 right into home, uh, go to device from the sidebar, uh, data, then local, then temp, go into the data folder, then in there, click the local folder, then click the temp folder and paste. Basically all you're doing in this step, this step right here is you have the unlock N3 file copied, uh, and you're copying it over to data local temp. You can't do it from your computer. You need to drag it over from your computer to the root directory and then copy it over once you're on your phone. Um, because I don't think you can get to the root parts of your phone through uh, your PC. All right, um, I'm hoping that's clear enough. Go to the first unlock bootloader file. Remember you copied the code into text files and you dragged it over onto your phone into the root directory. Um, click on, so, Open it in ES File Explorer, click Edit on the right-hand side, select all, and copy it. And then go to the terminal emulator uh, that you downloaded from the Play Store and hit Paste. Wait for a minute. It's going to be running some of that code. And then hit Enter. It won't run all of it. You need to hit Enter uh, once you see that it's stopped. And then it will run a little bit and then say, are you sure you want to run this code or whatever? Then you just type yes, Y-E-S, Hit enter again. Wait for it for about 45 seconds because that'll be plenty of time. And then it will turn off. Just if it doesn't work within the first 15 seconds, don't freak out. It may take 30 to 45 seconds. Um, and then you turn your phone back on. You're not unlocked yet. You then need to do the same thing again, but now with the second chunk of code. So you go to the second unlock text file that you made, which is the second chunk of copied code that you can get that from the description of this video. Um, click edit, select all, copy, go to terminal emulator, paste, wait, and then hit enter, type yes, enter. So it's gonna be exactly the same kind of thing. Keep the screen alive until the phone shuts off, about 30 seconds. I think it's a little bit shorter this time. Uh, then turn your phone back on. You are fully rooted and unlocked bootloader. Um, but you don't have a custom bootloader <laughs> actually installed yet. So that's when you open up Flashify. Uh, you need to download t uh, TWRP. I think Flashify actually lets you download it, but I haven't done it that way. I actually downloaded uh, t TWRP, uh, the twerp. Um, so download that. I'm sure you can just do a Google search and download it. That's how I got it. Um, and copy it over. If it's not already copied over, open Flashify, uh, recovery image, choose a file, Flashify file explorer, uh, uh, SD card, go to the SD card home kind of thing. Um, click on TWRP and then click yup and then reboot now. Um, that's all it takes. Uh, then swipe to allow modifications. Uh, once it opens up, it will say, do you want to swipe to allow modifications? I just say yes. Um, and that worked just fine for me. I wasn't fully uh, sure exactly what um, Twerp was asking me to do there. Um, so I just said yes, and it worked out just fine. Then you can install your custom ROM. I did Cyanogen mod, but I will tell you a little bit. I'm actually going to take you over here to this part. Side notes. If at any point mobile da data does not work on a ROM or a stock install, wait like a half hour. It might just work for you. That happened to me um, one time. Uh, make sure Wi-Fi is connected and you're signed in with your Google account. I don't know if this matters, but it's what I did and it helped. Uh, and that only worked the first time. The second time that I did all this again, um, it just mobile data still didn't work. So. Uh, this is what I found online somewhere. I copied this because this actually worked. I don't know if that triggered it or if it just started working after this. Alternatively, go to settings, more settings under wireless and network, 
mobile networks, press network mode and select CDMA. Uh, your phone will reboot. My phone did not reboot. Maybe yours will. When it's done, go to settings, scroll down to system update and update PRL and profile. Um, try that. And this is another thing that did work for me. Now go back to network mode and select CDMA slash LTE. Your phone will reboot and update PRL and profile again. Give that stuff a shot in case this happens to you where you can't have, where you don't have any mobile data or um, any phone at all. What I did was I did install CyanogenMod um, and you can find exactly how to install a ROM, but I'll quick run through this too. Uh, once I installed it, I had no phone at all, no mobile network or uh, cell service. Uh, and I could not get it to work on CyanogenMod. I did not try all of this. I just tried, I did not try all these things. I just tried this. So I might be able to install CyanogenMod and then just uh, try all this and get it to work. But I'm sick of the scariness of me breaking my phone. So I just flashed back and did everything up to just step two. After I did all this stuff, I flashed 5.0 again, uh, rooted, and then left it there. Um, I didn't unlock my bootloader or any of that stuff after I set it back because really um, the stock ROM is totally just fine for m this stuff that I'm doing. I do want root. I do enjoy having root privileges because I can do a few cool things. So let me quick tell you how to install CyanogenMod or custom ROM of your choice. Make sure you back up. In twerp, hit backup, swipe to backup, reboot uh, system, okay? Uh, copy CyanogenMod or your ROM to your root folder, turn off your phone, uh, then hit power, plus home, plus up, and I'm sure you've done that kind of stuff before if you're still watching this. Uh, wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system, data, and cache, wipe them all. Um, just don't... Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, then, oh, you don't want to wipe your actual like SD card and stuff because then it'll wipe <laughs> all the stuff on your phone and you won't be able to uh, install your custom ROM. Um, so then click install, click CyanogenMod or your ROM, then swipe. Then wipe this stuff again just for fun and then reboot system. And that should totally work. Then you have your custom ROM installed. It's that simple. Uh, and hopefully everything will work. Remember, try all of this stuff if you don't have cell service. Please let me know if that works for you. I'm excited to find out because then maybe I will try again if you guys give me some good feedback on that working for you. And that's how you do it, guys. Uh, I'm going to copy all of this stuff to the description. There's going to be a very long description with lots of good stuff here. Um, and I'm excited to see if this helps you guys. And there are so many good tutorials online about exactly how to root and install custom ROMs and do all this kind of stuff. So I didn't want to do all that stuff again. But I figured I should link to the videos that really helped me because you need very specific tutorials for your exact kind of phone if you want to be sure to not brick it. So that's about it. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me comments and feedback so my next video can be a little bit better for you guys. I'll talk to you soon.